So here we are, it's the last week of February, which means we're in Nuremberg, same time every year. Here we are, Embedded World 2019. Um, and we've got a few things that I'd like to, like to take you through on the booth here, on the Pika Technology booth, starting with, with Andrew Monteith. Andrew, what have, what have you got here? What have you got here? We've got serial decoding, and that's the software, and those are the different scopes we have. Okay, very good. Right, and what's this table thing that we've got up here? So that's giving you all the measurements that are there, and you can actually then flick between them and then change it into the fields, into the morph, and so on. It's all very configurable. Very good, okay. And over here, I notice we've got the uh, the mix signal booth, so we've got um, we've got three of the Picascope uh, mix signal models: the the, uh, the 2000 series, the 3000 series, and the one that we're running live here is the, the 5000 series. So it's got four analog channels, 16 digital channels, of which we're using eight, and we're looking either side of a, of a digital to analog converter. So we're looking at the, the digital inputs to the DAC and the analog output there on the screen. Okay, come on through the booth, let's see what else we've got. Paul, oh, good, good morning to you. Good, morning. good to see you back here again at Embedded World. What have you got here? And Pimpalog 6, the new introduced revamped software for all people out there using the data models. Uh, this particular setup shows our Dr. That, which is the entry level scope come logger, a very competitive price for students and education, showing things like uh, sound temperature sensors, relative humidity, and this little sensor here. Um, yeah, lots more to show you perhaps later. Now, I remember we were here last year, you introduced the, this Pikalog 6 this time last year. Up to you. What's changed in the meantime? Uh, a lot more functionality, mass, mass channels built in. Um, it's very, very in-depth, lots of growth you can go into the software. Try it. Okay, you can download it for free. Free, yeah. on their website. Everybody should be doing that. Okay, let's keep keep going. Let's uh, let's rock and roll. So Stuart's a little bit busy with a with a customer at the moment, so we'll uh, we'll invade his space. So what, what we've got here is the RF test bench. So we're showing the vector network analyzer at the bottom, the six gigahertz VNA, the eight gigahertz Ag um, agile synthesizer, and then the Prize at the moment, the uh, the, uh, the product that's in the spotlight for this particular show is the, the Picascope 9404. It is the first in a new generation of what we're calling sample extended real time oscilloscopes. 5 gigahertz bandwidth, 4 channels, 12 bit resolution, and it, it, it operates just like a conventional real time oscilloscope. So, what Stuart's showing. Well, uh, just looking over his shoulder, he's showing the uh, the flexible resolution oscilloscopes. So we've got um, we, we, we've got a, a fundamental signal there of a few kilohertz, but it's got an interfering signal on it. And with with eight bits resolution, you can't really make up you can't really make what the characteristics of the interference are. Um, but when he switches from that eight bit mode to uh, a higher resolution, see what he. Select. Oh, he's gone off piste. He's, he's, actually, he's actually gone on to the the reference uh, channels. But with with the higher resolution um, display, then you would see much more detail of, with the the interfering signal. You'd see the characteristics of the interfering signal, which of course, once you can measure something like that, enables you to analyze it and find the source of uh, of, of those problem signals on your device. On the set. So would it be fair to say, Trevor, then, that that was a skill that was optimised for both analog and digital use? Absolutely, and all the more so because there are mixed signal versions of it. So that is the scope that's got um, high speed, high resolution, mixed signals, so analog channels, digital channels, deep memory. It's, uh, it really is the complete all round. It's a hugely versatile facility. Yeah, you have to say so, yes, indeed. Absolutely. And just to wrap up, for those of you that are going to be with us here during the week. Um, we've got a competition, um, enter your business card and you've got a chance to win pretty every day one of the, uh, the Picoscope 2000 uh, series mixed signal oscilloscopes. Put your business cards in there, you, you never know, you could be the lucky winner.